RSS is technically really simple syndication, but simply putting, it is a way to aggregate a lot of useful content from the web. Let's see the way we serve the web. I go to a news site to find out the latest news headlines. I go to a movie site to find the latest on movies. A cricket site to get all the latest cricket buzz. And similarly, we all have a lot of favorite sites which we keep going to. There are two disadvantages to doing this. One, I have to periodically go to my favorite sites to find out what's latest. And two, these sites have images, ads, columns I'm not interested in. And I have to go through all of this content to filter out what I need. Secondly, these pages being heavy, having images, etc., will take up a lot of my bandwidth and they take up time to load. Now, what if these sites, these favorite sites, come and feed me with their latest content without me moving a finger? And yeah, that's possible through RSS. I'll show you a glimpse. This is my RSS feed reader. And I have all the top movies. I have all the latest cricket blogs. I have all the top headlines. And that too under one website, which is my Google Reader. I don't have to go to three individual websites. Let's see how do we do this step by step. First, find yourself a good RSS feed reader. A reader is an aggregator of all the content you are interested in. Like I am using a Google Reader. There are two types of readers, an online reader and an offline reader. Online readers have the clear advantage that once you subscribe to a feed, to some content which you are interested in, it will be available from anywhere on the web. And for you to do that, you create an account into an online reader, log in and see your favorite stuff. Like for example, I'm using the online Google Reader. The other type of readers are the offline readers. Offline readers have to be installed on your system. A good examples of online reader I can tell you are Google Reader, My Yahoo, NetVibes, etc. Offline readers I can recommend NetNewsWire for Mac and you can go for Feed Demon for Windows. Now once you have selected for yourself a good RSS feed reader, next step is to find out the RSS feed icon on your favorite website. This is the standard RSS feed icon. You might also find these RSS feed icons on your website. Now the difference is, once I click on My Yahoo and you happen to use My Yahoo RSS feed reader, clicking on this button would directly add that feed into your My Yahoo account. This one would add it to NewsGator account, PageFlicker account, and, and so on. These are all online RSS feed readers. I'll show you an example. Now I go to my favorite website, search for the RSS feed icon. I have it. Right click, copy link. All the feed readers have add subscription button. I paste what I just copied, say add. The latest content from TechCrunch is now available to me. This is the headline, synopsis, and so on. Now this has freed me from a lot of images, ads, which I was not interested in. Also, I might not be interested in all the latest stories. I would go to just the story which I'm interested in and I want to see the de detailed content. I just open the story. Go through the detailed content. This really saves a lot of time for me. I'll show you another feature which is available with this Google Reader. A lot of times we are interested in a lot of topics for which we do not know where to find the good stuff on. 
Let's say I'm interested in books. I don't know good websites for books. I find books. Google Reader just suggested me some good websites where I can find nice books content. I subscribe to this site's feed and now New York Times books would automatically update me with their latest content. And these are the latest stories on New York Times books. Again, I might go through all of these, but I'll click on only the ones I'm interested in. So that's RSS for you. 